Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I'm going to try something that's a bit of a departure for me today. I'm going to have a go at a seascape. Um, this is a lesson um, which is part of the art bundles for good that I treated myself to just recently. It's too late to get that for this year but it's worth watching it. They just do it for a few days each year so it's worth watching out for. But I will go for a few of the lessons because um, there are just like so many. Um, I'll pick out a few that I fancy and I'll film some of them so you can get a little taste of what kind of thing you, you get and um, if you check out let's have a look so today's lesson um, was with Jenny Buchanan from Blue House Art Blue beachhouseart.com um, I'll leave a link to them but if you check out their website there's a couple of taster um, little freebie tutorials and things on there so you could have a little little go without it even costing you anything um, I've had a quick look at the lesson it sounds like a really nice clear easy to follow lesson so I'm really looking forward to this it's something I've never ever done before but you know I did live in Cornwall for, for years and there are some beautiful um, beaches and coastline down there I know I never tried I never tried painting it so yeah quite excited about this one um, so I've got everything I needed it's an acrylic painting so let me show you what I've got ready I've had to ad-lib a little bit <laughs> that's always I haven't got quite everything that um, that uh, Jenny uses. So paints, I've got an assortment of acrylic paints here. It's a bit of a waste to use the heavy body ones because I'm going to be watering them right down but hey um, it's the colours that I need really. I've got titanium white, we're going to be using quite a bit of that. It's quite a limited palette actually, there's only six colours here all together including the white. And um, then I've got a couple of, not a lot left in there but I think it'll be enough, um, golden ones which are really fluid, thalo green and thalo blue. So they're probably going to be too fluid. <laughs> So that's the white, thalo blue, thalo green and then I was supposed to have an alizarin crimson or brilliant magenta. Um, I've got those in every other kind of paint but acrylic so I'm going to go for this deep madder. It's, it's only used in tiny tiny amounts as far as I can tell and I don't think that's going to be too far away. I think it will work. It's going to have to. I have got other magentas in the acrylic, I just think they're, they're going to be too magenta so... Hmm. And then I've got a co cobalt blue and a yellow light Hansa heavy body acrylic which I can water down. So that's the paints. Next I've got the brushes. Um, I've got this wide one, quite soft. Jenny said it's a bit quite often you use you use the sort of um, you tend to use usually the soft brushes for watercolour don't you and, and sort of more bouncy kind of brushes as I call them for acrylic and perhaps slightly coarser you, quite often you can use the same brushes for acrylics as for oils but Jenny mentions a soft brush for this first stage so I'm, I'm going to use this one it's not my lovely one that I keep specially for watercolours <laughs> and then I've got a couple of other sizes of flat brushes as well. Probably only need one of them but I wasn't sure about the size. Um, then I've got three different sizes of round brush because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get on. I should really probably only need that one but and then a little fine brush she said even perhaps a rigger so I think this might be a rigger I'm not sure but anyway it's a long thin pointed kind of brush. Um, I stuck in a filbert as well which she doesn't mention but I quite often find them useful so I just thought let's have it. And then Jenny mentions a bristle fan brush and this is a bristle fan brush it's much coarser than that. I've got these two fan brushes as well um, which I use a lot. I love these brushes. I have got one more in the, in the watercolour set as well but they aren't I don't think they're bristle they're more like sable this is bristle I think it, perhaps the texture is going to be crucial to get the effect as we're going along so I've got basically I'm going to keep all of those handy. It's going to be a little bit tricky in an ideal world I'd have it have the paper coming up towards me um, but I can't really do that and film it so I'm going to try doing it flat on my desk and if it doesn't work I won't try it again. <laughs> so that's my paints and then um, Jenny suggests making your own um, stay wet palette. These are really expensive to buy in art shops but um, and she just uses a plastic container. Now I bought some of these 
to do exactly the same thing a while back. Um, so these are just, um, they're made for caterers. Um, so, you, you know, you'd, you'd have your sandwiches or whatever on here. And then this is an airtight lid that goes over the top. So what you do to do a cheapy version, <laughs> cheapskate version of the um, stay wet palettes that you can buy in the art shops is you just get a couple of, I think Jenny suggests kitchen sponges, but I've, I've got these sort of disposable. Well, <laughs> they call them disposable, but you know, I don't actually dispose of them until they're shredded. A couple of them in the bottom. Um, it should be baking paper here, but I don't have any, so I'm going to go for some of this tracing paper. I've got a big pack of tracing paper. I'm hoping this will work in a similar way. And believe it or not, that will keep your acrylic paint workable for several days or even weeks. I've come back and found it like running all over the place because it's absorbed so much of the of the um, moisture. So, and then when you're finished, at the end of the day, you just pop your lid on and it's ready for the next day. Especially because, you know, these paints are expensive. Last but not least, this is um, just mixed media. Uh, is it 200, 250 GSM mixed media paper. Okay, I'm ready to go. I hope you'll be able to see it all well enough. As I say, it might not, it might just not work trying to do it at this angle because I can't really, my perspective will probably be a bit off. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to have to go anyway. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> One of the things I struggle with with acrylic paints is um, blending and that sort of thing so uh, I'm hoping this will be a really good exercise for me so I'm gonna follow the lesson and I'm gonna put you on uh, put you on speedy and play some music and I hope you enjoy watching I'll come back at the end and we'll see how it went eh? <laughs> there'll probably be some breaks we'll have to let it dry and stuff I think it's quite a warm day actually um, it's it's uh, middle of June here in the UK so and it's quite we're going through quite a warm spell so um, yeah I don't think it'll take too long to dry okay all of that all right it, it's difficult working flat on such a big piece um it's not such a seamless blend as jenny's and i'm not sure i've got the colors exactly right but I, i'm very happy with it so far love it that's the best bit of that's 
the best bit of blending I've had with them um, with acrylics so far so uh, yeah yeah quite enjoying that and lots of tips about how to tone down colors and and things like that and how to make the transitions yeah really really good I'm gonna have a little break now let that completely dry change my water wash my brushes clean off my palette put the lid on my stay wet palette <laughs> and I'll be back in a tick okay I've had a bit of lunch <clears throat> thrown half of it down my top <laughs> But I'm, I'm ready for phase two. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I decided I wasn't quite happy with that um, shore wash. I think I think she's calling it. Um, so I want to have another go. I've painted over it again, and I think that needs. Well, maybe it doesn't need another layer because that'll just add to that sort of textury. It'd be nice to have a slightly different um, 
colours and stuff behind there so I think that'd be all right but I need to let it dry and then come back and try that shawl wash again um, I think I need to be able to get my head over it it's just a bit difficult doing it at this angle so I'm gonna let that dry have another go at that bit and then I'll come back and show you how it looks in the end I'm really happy with how the rest of it's turning out though I'm gonna look at how few lines are actually here the overall effect is quite good I feel like I want these these lines here were I, I put in they weren't in the lesson I felt like it needed and underneath of the wave and I'm kind of thinking the same here but I can't decide <laughs> yeah and I think maybe I'll, I'll put more of the splashy back bit here because otherwise this this is just too gappy so yeah I'm going to fiddle about with it a little bit and then I will uh, come back and show you but yeah the overall thing is it's very simple and quick to do I mean I've only been let me have a look I've only been at first session the background was about half an hour and this time it's about an hour the other thing I'm finding is <laughs> I keep splashing my background with different colors I'm wondering whether to do the classic you know bit of, bit of splashing with the toothbrush thing and some acrylic not my actual toothbrush um just because I was I was like that a bit corny but you know <laughs> yes I'm going to fiddle about a bit probably ruin it but here, here you go have a look at it now because <laughs> I'm probably ruin it now <laughs> been a really fun lesson I've never done anything like this before so yeah I've really enjoyed it right okay I'll see you in a, I'll see you in a mo right I've actually spent another good hour on that but um, I'm a lot happier with it now I still there's something wrong with with this it's not sitting into the I think maybe I need more shadow under here I'm not sure but um yeah I'm much happier with it now it looks a bit more lively and a bit more realistic added some more sort of highlights here and um this I oh that was two or three layers over that um yeah so just oh and I had to add some clouds to cover some of my accent accidental drippage but I quite like how they look anyway so that's all right uh, yeah so um, I'm all done just in time to get dinner ready <laughs> yeah really happy with that um, another good lesson from Art Bundle for Good um, I'll leave a link I won't bother leaving a link to our bundle for good because it's too late for that now anyway but I'll leave a link to um make sure I get it right bluebeachhouseart.com that was Jenny B Buchanan yeah I really enjoyed her lesson really clearly explained I, yeah and as I say there were some freebies on the website as well so you could always uh, try and mark that cost you anything so I hope you enjoyed that or found it useful or interesting and um I will see you again really really soon bye